may have already heard this particular phrase several times today, or maybe even used it yourself. No problem. But what does it really mean? Is it an appropriate response to a question? Is it a fitting substitute for, you're welcome? I ask a member of the wait staff at an above average restaurant for a refill of my iced tea. Her answer? No problem. Now, since when does asking for a refill constitute a potential problem? Those words immediately couched my request in terms of being a problem. Now, if you delve into the English language, the implications of no problem adds a whole new dimension to our discussion. The waitress was really saying this to me. The level of customer service you're providing, or you're asking me to provide, I'd just like to remind you that your request could be considered a problem because it means more work for me. But even so, my boss tells me that I'm here, first and foremost, to make your dining experience memorable, pleasant, and worthy of a return visit. So I will go above and beyond and handle your problematic request, and I will refill your glass. In other words, I'll handle your problem, and I'll tell you it's no problem, even though it's a problem. Gosh, I hate to go around town making a problem of myself. And then recently during a visit to my insurance agent's office, I asked the administrative assistant to verify my policy number. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem, she said. Now inside my head I'm thinking, well, I should hope not. Am I imposing on you in some way? This is an insurance office, correct? Don't I pay a small fortune for you to manage my policy? And then after she handed me the policy number, I gave her a warm thank you. Her response? No problem. How about a pleasant, you're welcome, package with a smile? Is that asking too much? Before using no problem as a generic fallback response, think about the hidden aspect of that phrase. Use these tried and true favorites instead. Just a simple, you're welcome is always in style or an enthusiastic. You're very welcome, or absolutely, or it was my pleasure. I'm glad I was able to help. Those phrases close the conversation on a positive note rather than with the implication that you, the customer, were an unwanted problem 